Right. So there's a bit of a Goldilocks here. Uh, I haven't really changed my opinion since the beginning. I feel as though we have to do some compression, and I think we have to do it lightly. Mm -hmm. I do believe we absolutely need orthotic shoes at some point, but there was a time when this was huge. This was a concern, mm -hmm. and this was a big concern, and this was a concern. And all of these, because bony prominence, bony prominence, and also impingement from uh, footwear, mm -hmm makes me get desperate when i get desperate i'll say don't wear any shoes because i can't have that muddying the water especially when you have a dmn the shoe isn't going to fit right so when i say don't wear shoes you go ahead and tell someone the wound doctor told the diabetic not to wear shoes see what they say about my comment well, no you well, just you not, just you went no just in that. the house right not only that right. i thought it's temporary until these wounds start to turn around and behave because i can't risk having footwear mm -hmm. be abrading the wound especially over bony prominence because osteo is a few microns away Right. And this is all about, you know, preventing bone infection because bacteria can hide there. So um, even if it gets infected, though, I mean, most people throw in the towel and start bringing out the hack sauce. We can cure osteo. So it's not, okay, if you get osteo, don't think that this is, the gig is up. You can cure it. So uh, I guess oh, wow. okay. I'm going to be here till I die. Okay? No, 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 you look at your way better. This is the wound the only thing that's bugging me. If you turn this around, this is an escar. I can't tell what's going on on the base of the wound. The peri wound is still a bit angry. Um, size, bigger or smaller, doesn't make that much difference. The morphology of the wound is more important, and I can't actually see it. Mm -hmm. But if this thing, you know, turns around, starts to lift like the heel one is doing, uh, we're going to be on a pretty much easy street. But that's the, my last area of concern oh, okay. this used to be the oh my god my mm -hmm. tendon's there and i'm like don't worry about it you're going to cover it with this red tissue and you did so you've done everything i've asked so far except for open up a new one i guess you right. didn't have which was we know where that came from though and now you're uh being good and staying off it and that's going to heal i'm not really worried about that i'm worried about that Okay. Now, these are tough to heal anyway because it's on the lateral malleolus and you have combined problems. But I still think, you know, we've seen that much worse and we have seen situations where the bone is right there and in fact even the bone got partly eaten and we've still been able to heal it. But, uh, that's great. that's good to hear. Really all right, so, that, that was all my questions today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.